Hey guys, so let's talk about... Uh, okay, how my best speculation became my worst speculation. Or what people expect to be the worst speculation. So my best speculation, again, I have, I ordered the large majority of this speculation from TCG player, Wagical plays, Strike Zone online. I think I even ordered a few from David Adams in like a package, whatever. But anyway, I have all the receipts, I have all of that fun stuff, the invoices, all that good stuff. Um, my best speculation that I'm most proud of, so isn't the Ausbeth, it's not the voice, it's not the Archangel, it's not any of the Olivia. There's a lot of good ones. Caverns did pretty well, Silver Blade Paladin, Sigara. That's a pretty good one, but the one I'm actually proud of is Underworld Connections. Um, that was a card that was at 8 cents, and I purchased so many of them that for a Christmas gift, I just got so sick and tired of like trading and shipping. I mean, they were trading extremely well um, because they went up from eight cents to two ninety nine, and at two ninety nine, people want a playset, so then you can trade them in for something that's twelve dollars or ten dollars, and that's what I did. I traded it in for Shocklands, like straight up a playset for a Shockland. I kept doing this for everyone, and then eventually, when there was no one left to trade. And locally, I went online and I did something similar to that, <laughs> and I had a lot of Shocklands. I, I, I actually, what was it? No, it wasn't Shocklands, it was Tam, no, was it Tamios? Anyway, it was one of the cards I collect a lot of online. So locally, I collected Shocklands because that was easy. Online, you know, you have more ability to collect harder to find cards. So that happened, and I had a lot of them. When I mean a lot, I meant like, you know, stacks. I don't know if the video is on this channel or my old channel. I feel like it's on this channel because that happened after Elspeth. And yeah, so then we got to Mana Bloom. Mana Bloom, unlike some people, some YouTubers who, whatever, um, I purchased for 13 cents. That's what I purchased most of my mana blooms from because I ordered them from the same place. And I got a package of mana blooms and eventually mana bloom went on buy list for 30 cents. So you can make 17 cents in mana bloom. I obviously was like, okay, well, that's not really what I'm looking for because at that time, remember, this just happened. The Underworld Connections went from 8 cents to 2.99, and I was just feeding on Shocklands for like ever. Until I got so sick of it, I just sent it as a Christmas gift to uh, a YouTuber because I sent like a whatever I had left. But then I realized I had another stack left. I kind of just sent that other stack too. But I sent like quite a bit of them. And it, it just, for whatever reason, I assumed it would happen again to Mana Bloom. So I was like, ah, 30 cents buy this. Who cares about that? I'm just going to sit on these until they become two ninety nine. That never happened. Uh, but that speculation, as I get criticized a lot for that speculation, but I will stand by it and I will say, you know, and then they're going to criticize me for this too, blah, 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 blah. Um, I will stand by that speculation and say that if I did it again, I would still make the same speculation, even knowing that it doesn't go up in price. Uh, that was the first time I've speculating on a penny stock, if you will. I, literally, it was eight pennies and having it go to 299 and I realized if that happens and you have a few hundred copies of that card and the difference here was Mana Bloom I didn't have as many copies of because there wasn't that much time to buy them. The Underworld Connections was like 8 cents, 10 cents for the longest period of time so I just kept buying them, kept buying them, kept buying them and then they went off to 299 and I was like oh my gosh like can this happen again? But the Mana Blooms, I only have 40 of. I would say like 40, maybe 45. I did purchase them all from Strike Zone Online or, you know, TCG Player. Uh, because there's no time. People were specking on that as well. I wasn't the only one speculating on Mana Bloom. Um, so I didn't have time to pick them up. They went up. Once they went above 20 cents, I didn't buy any more of them. Like above like 20, 25 cents, I didn't buy them at all. I was like, okay, this is not the best news. This is no longer an eight cents card that I can buy in time. And it wasn't just that, it was they, these stores that when you go to 
when I go buy Punishing Fire and I buy like a few hundred copies of them, you need to have a few stores who have like 40 copies or 50 copies. It's so annoying to have to buy like four copies here, four copies, and then you will get killed in shipping as well. So Man of Bloom, it was not feasible for me to collect a lot of them in a short period of time due to the, you know, it was spiking, it actually spiked to like, I think like 50 cents, maybe 99 cents retail. And as opposed to Underworld Connections, which honestly just sat there at, I mean, I, I think weeks on week, weeks upon weeks at like eight cents or 10 cents. And I was able to accumulate quite a bit of them. And when that happened, I was like, well, uh, this, this is gonna happen again. <laughs> and it didn't. So yeah, I don't know. It was, I, I don't feel like it was a bad speculation at the time given the information I knew. And honestly, I didn't go that deep. I, I would have gone extremely deep into it if I had the opportunity. So I'll just go say that, say that right now. Bye, guys.